Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the Packer introduction. So uh, we will be discussing what is a Packer, how it will work. So before uh, get started, let's get started. So what is a Packer? Right, Packer is a uh, build automated machine images, which will build the automated machine images. So we'll uh, in this to this uh, video we'll discuss about the introduction, how this Packer works, and what is a Packer where we use this packer and uh, etc. So what are our learning objectives for this video? We, uh, first, we will be learning what is a packer and packer workflow, what uh, problem does packer solve and why packer and advantages of packer and the use cases of packer. So let's get started with it. What is a packer? So packer is a open source tool which is developed by the HashiCorp uh, organization. So this is tool used for the creating the identical uh, machine images so you can uh, create a multiple images uh, multiple machines using the common uh, customized image so it supports the multiple platforms like you can uh, create the images on vmware you can create images on virtualbox you can create images on uh, cloud platforms like aws azure and google so it you can build the images uh, customized images on various platforms so it will it also supports the major operating systems like linux uh, windows and uh, other uh, linux versions where you can able to build the images of uh, major operating systems and it uh, you can create this uh, multiple uh, this images on multiple platforms in a parallel fashion so one at once you can create a multiple images on multiple platforms so you can build a image for the developer development on the virtual box or the on the azure cloud and you can create a production on the another environment maybe uh, it is a uh, AWS or the VMware so like this you can design your uh, multiple platforms and uh, this packer does not replace the configuration management tool so this packer is only built for the building the images it's, it does not re replace any configuration management so you can integrate configuration management tools like Chef, Ansible Puppet and uh, Salt into the packer where you can provision the uh, applications or you can install the patches on after the building the image then you can create a, a customized image so this packer uh, tool is written in the go language so we have the other tools like terraform also written in the go language so most of the this tool is uh, written in the go language so what is this machine image machine image is a single uh, static unit it will contain the operating system and any major uh, bug fixes or security updates and it will be installed with the applications and softwares whichever is required for your uh, application and using this you can quickly create multiple images multiple uh, missions you can create using this uh, static image so in uh, machine images will uh, have the, the various formats uh, we, we call it as a uh, machine uh, amazon machine uh, image in ami in the aws cloud and we call it as a vf images in azure and we call it as a uh, like o OVF uh, export for the virtual box. So in various platform, they, the terminology is different. So this is all about the uh, Packer. So to, we'll discuss about the Packer workflow, how the Packer uh, workflow works normally. So uh, in Packer workflow, the developer or the user will write a code uh, in the HCOP uh, configuration language. So you have to write, define uh, whatever you required. So you have to define the way, uh, which platform you want to create an image and which uh, operating system you want to deploy and what are the softwares you have to deploy onto the image. So uh, once you write a code, the packer will have the three components like uh, it, will build, build a, it will build the image, it will build the machine, then it will uh, run the provisions and it will do the post, -proce uh, post process. Means once you write a code it will build a uh, machine virtual machine for you then on top of it uh, based on your provisionings it will install uh, it will run the script or it will uh, do the configurations using the ansible or chef anything then after once it is done so the in virtual machine will be taken the image so in in terms of our the cloud platform if it is a aws cloud it will take the ami of the complete uh, ec2 instance in uh, Azure, it will take the image of the virtual machines after once it is done. So once uh, everything is done, it will uh, take an image and it will give you the information about that image. On AWS, it will give the AMI ID for the uh, 
for the azure it will give the uh, like uh, image id kind of thing so once everything is uh, written we have to write everything in in the form of code so whatever you want to uh, achieve out of this uh, uh, out of this image creation so we have the multiple platforms where you can you do this one so that is all about the pack overflow you can build the docker images as well using the pack of so let's come on to uh, another uh, topic which is what problem does this packer solves so we'll discuss what are the issues we have so this is the one imaging build building tool to rule uh, them all like using packer you can build the images on multiple platforms that is the one thing so we have the uh, cloud native uh, image builders where uh, it is a tedious job for the building the images on the cloud so they have built their own uh, cloud native tool but we can't use those tools on the other platforms so this is an open source tool where you can build on multiple uh, instance, uh, multiple uh, platforms like VMware or the uh, Azure, or maybe in Google Cloud or anything. So sing with single uh, configuration, you can create the images for multiple uh, platforms. You can create the images for development, uh, staging, and QA and production. So uh, you can uh, spread across various uh, platforms for various environments. So it will work for the cloud, Vagrant, and Docker as we, obviously. So this uh, pack can be integrated in your uh, cloud and DevOps model as well. So you can build a CI CD pipeline where you can uh, build an image using the uh, CI and you can uh, pass on to the image to the uh, Terraform or other uh, deployment tool where uh, you can build a new virtual machine immediately once the image is built. So this is all about the, the problems which the packer is solved. So why we have to use packer? So packer is a uh, so building an image is a tedious job. So we have to take the AM uh, server, in, uh, we have to take the AMI. So we have to bring down the virtual machine and we have to take the uh, uh, AMI of the virtual uh, EC2 instance. So this is a tedious job to maintain if we have multiple machines or multiple images which we are maintaining on quarterly basis or monthly basis. To every month the operating systems uh, patches will be released from the Microsoft. So to update these, uh, uh, patches onto the image is a tedious job. So every month where the man uh, effort will be gone in, in many hours. So that is a uh, package is easy to use and automate the creation of any type of machine images. And this this embraces the modern configuration management. So whatever the configuration management we are using nowadays as a Ansible or the NHF. So we can integrate this with the uh, configuration management. And this uh, packer brings the pre-baked images into the modern age like uh, you can uh, have a uh, image with pre-installed software and everything uh, got ready and just make it the image and use it uh, uh, with uh, just load the application data and you can use it uh, right away. So this package is creating a new opportunities for the developers and uh, other infrastructure guys to do the testings and uh, to the development testings and uh, test for any vulnerabilities kind of thing. So this is uh, what, uh, for this purpose we have to use the uh, packer in our infrastructure uh, and development. So what are the advantages of packer? So coming to uh, advantages, it is a super fast infrastructure de deployment. So packer images will uh, provision the VM and it will create the image in within the seconds or within the minutes where the image will get ready. And uh, the Sometimes uh, if you want to deploy from the development to production, just take, create an image and you can deploy onto the production. And this is multi-provider uh, portability. Suppose uh, you uh, just now I said that uh, if you want to build a development on your other on-premises VMware environment, then you want to build a development on the uh, Azure cloud and uh, production on the AWS cloud. So this is a uh, multi-provider portability is there. You can sh uh, shift from the Azure to the AWS and AWS to the Azure. And uh, improve stability. So based on the usage of this uh, Packer tool, the stability and installing and configuration of software on the machine is got uh, uh, taken very less time and uh, installation is very smooth nowadays. And this is the greater testability. So if you want to test any applications and you want to do evaluation of any software, then you can build an image and you can use so whenever you have stuck somewhere, just uh, create an image and you can go forward from there. So this is the, uh, these are the advantages of Packer image. So what are the use cases? So normally we use it in a continuous uh, delivery model where you can uh, deploy a, a, a 
when you can push the code onto the server where onto the github and you want to create a new image out of it so in the cicd uh, platform you can just uh, deploy the uh, check in the code onto the github then it will automatically trigger that uh, image and uh, using that image you can deploy the uh, environment into the dev or queue wherever this is possible so one more thing is uh, dev and uh, prod parity parity right so here the it is uh, packer helps you to keep the development and the staging production as, as similar as possible and packer can use be uh, used to generate the images for the multiple platforms at the same time so this is these are the some things uh, use cases where and uh, appliance and demo creation suppose uh, you have built the application and you want to give a demo for the customers so you can use the packer and you can uh, where they can generate the in instantaneous image and you can give a demo for your customers and you can use the appliances as well so these are the use cases for the packer and this is a reference uh, URL where you can uh, refer the packer documentation for the uh, in-depth knowledge on the packer so if you have any questions or any comments please uh, uh, please put it on the below comments and you can uh, and just give the comments and if you want to learn anything new just uh, keep uh, put a comment on below and if you want uh, if you like my video and if you want uh, if you have seen any information out of this video please uh, don't forget to like and share it to others if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell icon where you can get the uh, next uh, upcoming videos on this package uh, tutorial series so thank you for viewing and have a nice day thank you very much so these are my uh, social media handles you can uh, you can always be connected with me thank you very much